Madam X, I would like to know my future for this upcoming election year. Well, I'm an expert at reading futures in tea leaves. But for you, it will cost $50. $50? Why so expensive, you parapsychology plunderer? Well, if you would like it to be free, I will use tea in bags. Excuse me. Well, what do you see? I see your upcoming political future is hanging by a string. Mr. McGee, Mr. McGee! My teacher said new and original ideas. Really? In what subject? Mostly spelling. Come on in, Mr. Wimple. Good afternoon, Doctor. I've been so weak that my wife sent me to see you. Well, let's see what we can find out for you. Well, Wimple, I think you're going to need some medicine, but that'll be around $200. And we could do surgery, but that's going to come out to $500. I don't know, Doctor. Well, why don't you go home and consult with your wife and come back and see me? Come on in, Mr. Wimble. So, what did your wife decide? Well, she decided to remodel the kitchen. Dr. Gamble. If you operate on me, can I be playing the violin in two weeks? Well, I can't guarantee the violin, but the last patient I operated on was playing the harp within 24 hours. Mr. McGee! 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 Jeez, you all a cricket! <gasps> Heavenly days! I'll call the doctor right away! Don't worry about it, Mr. McGee! I gave her some insecticide drink! I can't take this insomnia anymore. I've got to go to the doctor. Doc, you've got to change the treatment. I still can't sleep. Did you follow my instructions? Of course, Wild Bottom. I started counting sheep and got up to 1,440. And then you fell asleep. No, that's when it was time to get up. You're next, Tony. Your eyes look good. Your throat looks good. Have you had any trouble with your nose? Yeah, it gets in the way every time when I take off my t-shirt. Well, Mr. Boomer, I have here your test results. What are they, doctor? Well, Mr. Boomer, you're full of microbes. But don't worry, they're very small. You do know my birthday is in two weeks, right? Yes, that's right, Tallulah. What are you getting me? Why do you want to know? Mom says I only give get gifts if I'm good if I'm good, and I want to know if it's worth being good that long. What are your symptoms? A very high fever, pain in my throat, and a killer headache. Well, it sounds like what you have is very serious. What can I do, Doctor? Well, stay in bed and I'll come see you when it passes. <laughs> I'll be waiting out here for you, Helen. Okay, George. Hmm. The Moon and North Star tell me in your future there will be a handsome young man that soon he will ask you something that will make you take notice. Oh, at last. Finally, George is going to ask me to marry him. Oh, sweetie, do you have something to tell me? 
Yeah, do you have twenty dollars I can pay the fortune teller? How was your first day of school, Tony? Not good, Mr. B. But what makes you say that, Tony? I have to go back to school tomorrow. My friend, you're getting an operation. Operation? Don't look at me like I'm crazy. You're going to have to have your gallbladder removed. Gallbladder? What's the matter with you? You're repeating everything I say? Are you sure that's right, Doc? Stay calm. I can guarantee this diagnosis with 100% certainty. But you probably don't even know where your gallbladder is. Oh, that I do know. It's down the street in your colleague Dr. Bissaretti's office where he took it out a year ago. <sighs> this pain in my back, doctor, you're sure it isn't sciatica? I'm sure it isn't, Mayor. The problem is your cane is too short. <laughs> Oh, what is this I see? Hmm. Be very careful. Somebody will try to rob you. Darn! What are you going to charge me? Hey, 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 stop this fighting. What's going on here? What's this fight about? Okay, explain. We played out of an even. And what? She ate all the apples you were getting right half. Who goes there? A burglar. What are you looking for? Money. Wait, I'll help you look. Excuse me, doctor. <laughs> Hi, come on in. Have a seat. Thank you. For now on, I would like you to be my permanent doctor. I'm happy to serve you, madame. What clinic did you visit before? Just the one up the road. Ah, uh, Dr. Buschetti's office. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, why did you leave there? Well, the magazines that they put in the lobby were too old. <sighs> okay, how can I help you today? I would like to do my annual checkup. Okay, we'll begin immediately. Now, don't say anything while I check your pulse. And, okay. And let's check your lung function. Say 33. 33. Okay. Let's check your reflexes. You shameless cat! Take this for being refreshed! Wow! She's got some reflexes! So what's going on, Dennis? You seem very depressed and even have lost some weight. Yeah, it's, it's that I don't eat. I don't drink, but I enjoy watching other people eating and drinking. Hmm. I think I know exactly what the problem is, Mr. Driscoll. You're a perfect saint. No, you goon. I'm a waiter. 